If families make it across the Rio Grande alive, they face the prospect of being forced apart and held in overcrowded, squalid camps. And the officers they encounter on the way aren't always the most sympathetic. Leaked posts from a secret Facebook group for US Border Patrol agents depict crude and offensive images of immigrants and left-wing lawmakers. It's the latest in a series of scandals relating to the treatment of migrants on the US-Mexico border. Treatment that's been condemned at the highest levels. The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights is utterly appalled uh, by the conditions of detention of migrant children and adults um, in the United States. Um, and in the worst of circumstances, it can amount to cruel, inhuman and degrading treatment under international law. But with poverty, crime and gang violence rampant in Central American countries, the prospect of a better life continues to draw the tired, the poor and huddled masses. I want to get to the United States to improve my life because in Honduras, my mother was searching for a job but didn't find one. Honduras. For decades, the US has intervened in Latin America, successively fighting the Cold War through proxy forces, the war on drugs, and propping up several right-wing authoritarian leaders. In recent months, Washington has supported the opposition in Venezuela against its socialist government, threatened tariffs against Mexico, and withdrawn aid from Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. It says all four countries must do more to reduce emigration from their territories to the US. In response, Mexico has deployed more security forces to its borders, which it says has been effective. There's been a reduction in migration flows by this national force, and it's been recognized by other foreign governments. Critics, however, say the root causes of migration have little to do with Mexican negligence, but rather years of poor policy making in Washington. And that's led to weakened states, rife with corruption, and in turn, unchecked criminal gangs who take advantage of the poor. It's true that the governments can't ignore what's happening to the migrants because drug traffickers and people traffickers are laughing at the Mexican government. They're using these poor people, these very migrants, to transport their merchandise. Indeed, drug smuggling has been one of President Trump's main arguments for building a border wall. But ultimately, did America create these problems for itself? And if so, might the solution lie more in a change of policy than a controversial border wall? Adam Pletz, The Newsmakers.